This is Nick Peters with Comcord's video blog, What Were They Thinking? When the NBA's Philadelphia 76ers gather for their monthly team breakfasts on an off day, the talk isn't about X's and O's. Individual players are required to make a formal presentation to the team on any topic they choose. So far, these have included snakes, with one player even bringing his life python in in a backpack, the artistry of tattoos, the Civil War in the Balkans, UFOs, the history of coffee, Charles Manson, and even an explanation of simulation and quantum mechanical theory. What were they thinking when Coach Brett Brown and staff formalized discussion of far-reaching subjects among a bunch of millionaire professional athletes at breakfast? The Sixers say they've embraced a basic human truth. People want to tell stories, and they've turned it into a successful team-building exercise. It started in the years when naysayers complained that the franchise was intentionally injecting itself with an epidemic of losing by trading away veterans for youthful promise. But while the critics had a field day, loss after loss, they even went 1-30 in, in a stretch, the team was slowly building the foundation for what is now a diverse winning culture. And the storytelling cements it. This is of particular importance to the Sixers. The team includes an Australian a white American from the rural south, an African American who grew up in Chicago, a Croat, a native of Cameroon, two players from Turkey, and one each from Italy and France. Brown himself coached in Europe for years. Good communicators know that storytelling can build visceral human connections. The Sixers have turned that axiom into a formula that has transformed a collection of disparate losers into a unified team of contenders. For Comcore, I'm Nick Peters. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter.